Behavioural finance explains why we don't always act in our own best interests when making everyday decisions around money. Loss aversion is our tendency to focus on avoiding losses rather than acquiring gains. It's because we feel greater pain from a loss than we do pleasure for a gain. For example... Ooh, the Community Athletics Carnival's on again. Why don't you have a go in the oldies this time? You've been doing all that training. No, no, it's not a good idea. Why not? What if I embarrass myself? Alan is guilty of loss aversion. Instead of being focused on a potential gain, he's focusing on the loss, embarrassing himself for losing. His fear of failure has held him back. Just spoke to Trev. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he went to that community running race. Didn't do too bad. Came in third. Good on him. And he's not even as fit as you are. And that's saying something. I know. I should have entered. Alan's behaviour is not dissimilar to people putting off decisions about their finances. Too often people settle for a familiar action or put off making decisions altogether instead of considering change. Being open to a new way to approach your finances is the important thing. You can then make an informed decision as to whether it has the potential to result in the outcomes you're aiming for. To avoid loss aversion, here's what you can do. Imagine your worst case scenario. Simply by planning, you'll realise there's usually a solution for even the most difficult situation and you'll feel much more comfortable knowing you probably don't have as much to fear as you first imagined. Write down the pros and cons. There's always an opportunity cost by sticking with the status quo, so consider whether it's worth making a change. To find out more about loss aversion and other behaviours that can impact your choices, visit the Colonial First State website. Feel the burn.